planning for success. Welcome to another episode of Fit Is Me Fridays. My name is Kaneshka and this week we'll be talking about planning for success. Now, if you recall last week's video, I spoke about motivating yourself, getting yourself to actually do something to get you from point A to point B. So if you haven't seen last week's video, go ahead and do so right now before we get into more detail because this video would be a follow-up to last week's video. So click here to get to the video. Great, if you've done watching that, beautiful. Let's get right into it. So now that you're motivated to do something, you actually have to plan for success. So what do you mean by plan for success, Fit is me? So when you plan for success, it's basically you put down your step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, how to do that, you know, move from place to place but with a strategy. Now in my plan for success, there are three stages. First stage, find the change. Second stage, initiate the change. And final step is maintain the change. So the steps in my plan are very important. There are only three steps, so you can't really screw them up. But it takes a lot of hard work and determination, as I mentioned in the motivation video. Now each step has its own little rules, and as we go through this video, I'll make sure that you understand those rules and that we can follow them from point A to point B so that we can have a successful change. Stage one, find the need for change. This could be anything. When you go back to the motivate me video, you'll see that I talk about whatever you want to do, you got to motivate yourself to do so, right? Whether you want to be a doctor, whether you want to be a lawyer, whether you want to drive a car, whether you want to have a million dollars, you got to motivate yourself to do it from point A to point B. Now it's obviously easier said than done, but as long as you find that one need for change, you are on the first step to success. So finding the need for change can be anything. It could be physical, it could be mental, or it could be both. So let's say you wanna lose weight. So you constantly tell yourself, I'm fat, I'm overweight, I eat too much, I can't even. Well, my answer for you is to have your mindset on losing weight. That initial first step of focusing on what you want to do is basically covering this first step of the plan. The need to identify change. And what your change is, is that you want to lose weight. Of course, it's easier said than done. You can tell yourself all you want that you're going to lose weight. You're going to stop eating. You're going to stop doing this and that. Uh, you're going to go to the gym more. But at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. So if you don't change your ways, you can stay at step one while everyone else goes on to step two and three. Step two, initiate the change. So now that you've found the need for change, now we can go on to step two and initiate that change. In other words, get started. So tell them how to start. And I'll do so now. So let's continue off of what we focused on step one about losing weight and use that for our example in initiating our change. So you've now motivated yourself to lose weight. You've identified that you need to lose weight. So now, let us look at what we do throughout the day. Your daily activities contribute to your overall well-being. And this includes your weight. So before you start throwing away your junk food and eating more salad and eating less of this and that, accept the fact that you eat junk food. Accept the fact that you eat a lot. And accept the fact that you don't exercise. When you identify an activity in your daily routine that you know for a fact is stopping you from losing weight, focus on changing that. Focus on starting from there. So for example, you're out and about, you're chilling with some friends and you're at the mall and you get hungry. Now, 80% of the time, you're either gonna run to McDonald's or Tim Hortons. But before you order that number eight with the medium fries and a Coke, look at the other options look, look. that are also available that are healthier, but at the same time, you'll enjoy eating. Now, I'm not telling you to leave that number eight and go towards a salad. I'm telling you to find a comparable version of it that has less calories and to you seems more appropriate. By doing this, you initiate the change. You are now comparing things one by one, looking, looking, looking at the healthier option, choosing that healthier option and leading with that. Now, when you do that on a daily basis, you will now incorporate more healthier options in your daily routine and eventually move towards losing weight. Slowly but surely, now that when you go out with your friends, when you're at home, when you're at school, or when you're at work, you would wanna go for that healthier option rather than going for that number eight with the medium fries and a Coke. So now let's look at the final step. Maintain your change. So to keep this part short and simple, we found the need for change, which is to lose weight. 
We've initiated the change, which is to pick the healthier option. Now we have to maintain that change so that we continue to gain progress. So as I always like to preach about patience, you always got to have determination, which is that step one. You always got to be committed, which is that step one. And if you need motivation, remember, I got that motivational video right there. But at the end of the day, your change will only be as serious as you are. The more serious you are about your change, the quicker you'll get your results and the quicker you'll be in that beach body by summer 16. Looking for revenge, all summer 16, all summer 16, playing dirty, not clean.